Freak Addicts, Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from all over the world. I'm at an awesome Lego store. About a half hour south of my office. Let's go in and check it out, shall we? Well, what better way to start this off than with a little custom Lego store? It's right on Broadway Street. Check that out. Nice little Lego store. One fourth the size of ours. Pretty cool, nonetheless. Two stories. Little pick a brick wall over there. They've got a little of everything. Hmm. Interesting. Very good prices. Very good prices. A lot of stuff with missing pieces and price quite fair. Very impressed. And, whoa! A lot of you Star Wars fans are going to be going nuts looking at that, right? Not quite as many airplane pieces as we've got, but we got a few wheels. I'm not sure anybody's got as many airplane parts as we do. Can't tell if they're cleaned or not. My guess is no. That's okay, because that's what we do. Any Maersk blue? I don't see any Maersk blue. Bad place for them parts to be. See, and I need a lot of tan, normal pieces like that. We get a lot of parts that yeah, require those. Apple Store takes a bunch of those. Oh man, this is cool. Fill that thing up for 28 bucks. You cannot beat that. When the girls came down, they got like five tubs that size. The big size there. Oh, yeah? Yep. And some small ones. Lots of base plates we're going to be getting. So our small sets go on, let's see, these right here. So I can assure you I'll be moving with those. And this is the new size of the Home Depot.
Taj Mahal. Only 250. Constructed. Good. <laughs> My voice is almost gone. I started a video building this set right here and then got so busy, I had to stop. So I didn't get it finished. The Simpsons house, which he, we've had many times around the office. A very cool house. In fact, I probably only touched that set once or twice. To have a bunch of new ones of these and I opened one up and put it together on a Saturday and a Sunday. Loved it. It was great. I love this set. An awesome set from the Ideas Collection of course. Very cool. Very cool set. The old fishing store. Luke, I am your father. The movie maker. In fact, I think that's the set that Brad from Animated Bricks was, uh, gave away in a contest. Ninjago. Except for the building's just kind of a facade. I don't know. I'm old school Legos, so. Classic. Very good prices on those. Definitely better prices than Walmart, Lego store, anything like that. That great price. Around Christmas time, we had probably about 40 of those and stuff. They definitely have more mini things than we do. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Boxes. I don't think I've ever shown y'all our box and manual collection. I'll have to do that sometime. The creator set. That, my friends, is one of my favorite sets right there. 
the salt on the hall. I remember around Christmas we had a bunch of them. Back to the future. This is a lot of Legos or what? Check this out. All kinds of bins, all this stuff. It's awesome. This, they've got, uh, they actually sell new stuff on Bricklink, but uh, we're getting some uh, pre-owned parts. We're gonna clean them up real good. And we're gonna make some cool stuff out of them. But we figured we'd share this stuff with you. Look at this stuff. It's amazing, they got a little bit of everything. This reminds me of my childhood, because when I was a kid, a lot of my bins look like this. This, of course, was long before I ever even knew technically what Lego sorting was. So, I'm having fun though. It's bringing back some memories. It's a lot of fun, especially finding pieces like this. So, you guys are ever in the uh, Dayton, Cincinnati, Westchester area, you gotta come here. The uh, address is down below this place. Awesome. A bunch of base plates and stuff too. I love it. I love it.